Today we are going to learn how to balance an axial fan. Balancing an axial fan is usually easy, but it can become a very difficult task if you don't follow these two steps. When we balance an axial fan, we usually do it in one single plane, and it is a very simple balancing process. An initial run is done, then a test weight is placed, and finally, we add the correction mass. However, axial fans can have two very important vibration components, and if you don't know how to identify them, it will be impossible for you to balance it. The first and most important issue is a dynamic imbalance, meaning two planes. When we talk about an axial fan, these are very thin, so we could likewise think that it is a single plane balancing. When we think about balancing in two planes, we think of turbines like this one, where we have clearly identified the two planes, plane one and plane two, which could be asymmetrically evenly balanced and coach vibration like this one. Same case for a rotor of this type where we can clearly ident identify plane 1 and plane 2. Assuming we've achieved proper static balancing, meaning it no longer moves or hangs statically, if the weights are in opposite direction, whilst it will tend to vibrate in this way. This is where dynamic balancing comes in. In the specific case of an axial fan, one might wonder how it could possibly have a dynamic imbalance, especially considering it is so narrow. The main reason an axial fan can have dynamic imbalance is because one blade is not in the same plane as the opposite blade. That means, if a blade is on this side, bent like this, we could have a different force in this plane than in this plane. The planes would not coincide. Consider this is an important mass. It is the total mass of the blade that would have the effect, so it is extremely important to align the blades of the axial fan. To align the blades accurately, to align the blades accurately, we will use either a ruler or a screwdriver so we can precisely compare the separation of each blade with respect to a fixed point. There we have approximately one millimeter in this particular case. This specific fan is very well aligned and we are now going to make a vibration analysis This axial fan is currently perfectly balanced. Look at its spectrum before bending the blade so you can clearly see the effect I will switch it to cycles per minute in the frequencies and we will see that at this moment that at this moment it has two peaks, but these peaks are from electrical noise. This one is at 7200 cycles per minute. And then we have the rotation one, which is about 1.2 to 1.3 millimeters per second, which is quite good for our purposes. It could be better, but it's gonna be good for what we need. Now, what we are going to do is flex two of the blades. I bent one blade, and as you can see, this blade is the good one, and this is the flexed blade. At this point, it is much more... F now, we are going to flex the opposite blade in the opposite direction. We only need to flex it very little to see an effect. You will see it now. So this is the good blade. So this is the good blade. And this is the blade that I brought closer, which is... and we can observe that the vibration increased considerably. 
We were at 1 or 1.2 millimeters per second and now it doubled. In other words, if we had this fan at zero, the vibration would most likely have increased to about 1.2 or 1.5 millimeters per second. But it would be almost impossible to balance because you would be thinking about putting a counterweight somewhere in one plane, but in reality, the fan is like this. It would have to be necessarily on two planes. There is no way because there is no blade on this side to counteract the other plane. That's why it's very important to align the blades. So that was point number one. Now I'm going to straighten the blades and show you the point number two. I left the blade just as they were and we're going to take a new recording to confirm that we have returned to the previous vibration values. And indeed we have returned to the previous vibration values and they are even lower now. I haven't touched the balancing and it has now a lower vibration of 0.5 millimeters per second. So the fan is actually very well balanced. The second point that you need to check, and it is also extremely important in actual fans, all blades have the same degree of inclination, which is the angle of attack they use to push the wind. Sometimes it happens that one of the blades has a greater angle of attack compared to the opposite blade. And what usually happens, this blade with a greater angle of attack will exert a significantly greater force in the opposite direction compared to the opposite blade that will exert a correspondingly lesser force against the wind. We will have asymmetrical forces once again and they will appear as in balance exactly the same way as before. I am now going to change the angle of attack of one blade. Watch as I increase it. I am trying not to bend the blade. We are only increasing the angle of attack. This is a good blade and this is the blade where the attack angle was increased. and that's the distance. We are going to do the same thing on the other side. This is a good blade, this is another good blade, and this blade is the one where I increase the angle of attack. So now we have a much higher... So now that we have a much angle of attack, let's see what happens. We see that the vibration almost doubled more than one millimeter per second just by increasing the angle of attack. So in larger diameter fans, the blades are larger, therefore the effect of the angle of attack will be much greater as a result. In fact, here we're talking about a very small fan, but for industrial extractors fans, this effect is very, very important. Don't forget to carefully check the alignment of the blades and the angle of attack of all the blades, making sure they are all precisely the same. If they don't meet these two, can be very hard to balance. But if they do, the balancing job will be a lot easier. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching. See you next time.